Yo, what's going on, boys? It's Sam Dude Tuber Extraordinaire here. Extraordinaire is, you know, a bit of a single perspective, but that's what I'm going to call myself today. As you can see under my face, there is a Green Chef link or thingy that you can go. Uh, and obviously, I'll put it in the, the link comments, but I'm sponsored by Green Chef. It's mainly a Twitch sponsorship, so I'm not going to mention it too, too much, but I am going to keep the... Uh, the little icon thing up. Um, basically, it is a healthier counterpart to HelloFresh, which is just uh, like one of those services that sends you meals and then you make them and then you feel good about yourself. And <coughs> they decided to sponsor me, which is awesome. And like I said, I'll put a link in the bottom if you want to. Unfortunately, it is U.S. only, not N.A. only. Canada cannot get in on this, and, but but it is in the U.S. So if you are in the U.S. and you want to help me out just a little bit, you want to also choose some cooler meals to eat that you can make yourself, by all means, use the link down below. Get your thing. You also get $135 off. Using my code Pog Sam. Pog. I picked it myself. Do you like it? <laughs> <clears throat> also, what's really cool is because it lasts for a whole month, you guys actually have a lot of time. So if you can't afford it right now, Maybe you can later in the month. Also, I am getting married this month. So if you don't, if you want to give me a wedding gift, then you can just, you can just eat a little bit better yourself. Just saying. I'm pulling the wedding card. That's how it is. I don't have, I don't have one of those. Uh, what, are, what are they called? When people have like gifts and shit. A registry. I don't have a registry. Just use my link. <laughs> I'm so great at advertising for sponsors. I only get married once in my life. I'm using a translator now, but I'm a fan of yours, even though I don't understand English. Well, thank you. Good luck. <clears throat> I wonder, you think he went and actually used a translator or he just saying I don't know he messaged me very fast which makes me think that he doesn't actually use a translator but then at the same time all he typed was OMG so that's that's pretty universal maybe he is maybe he is either way I'm gonna have to kill him in the game, in the game. <laughs> All right, definitely I'm not fighting a level three Poseidon. Just kidding, I'm hitting every auto. Uh, okay, just kidding, I'm absolutely indubitably cracked. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. That was close. <laughs> that was very, very close. Holy. I almost got clapped, man. What? How did he hit five so fast? I guess he just shoved the wave really hard. And... I mean, dude, shove a wave like that. And... That's insane. I can't believe it. I actually almost died there. Fun fact, Kiwi Clicker came out with a big update today, and I have been playing it nonstop. <laughs> I know you don't care, but, you know, it's a part of me, so get over it. All right, juke all my autos, dude. What the fuck? Is he the best gamer to ever exist? Dukes all my auto attacks and then my three. 
Then our first fight, he Krakens me and almost kills me. Jeez Louise. He is a Giga Brain Gamer, that's for sure. I'm gonna need him to calm down a lot. Would you go? Oh, he didn't go tier one defense yet. I thought he was gonna get like uh, tier one Genjis or Shoguns or whatever, but he didn't have enough gold. He's only 300 gold down, so he should have been able to afford something. But I don't know. I'll take it, I guess. Did you get your blue already? No. Come to me, minions. Come on. I don't want to waste my mana clearing the minions and the buff. So I'm going to do it at the same time. <laughs> Efficiency, baby, at its finest. You only get this kind of content here. Hmm. I kind of want a Shogun to my own right now. Even Bancroft's talent. I do not like that. Not a good play. IMO. Cracking me. Okay, take my blue. <laughs> I beat him in the fight. He was like, you know what? Fine. Just fucking take it, man. <laughs> just, just take it. Spare me. All right. You know what? I will. I will. <laughs> it's so funny. He messaged me that. He can kill me really easy. Also, I think I actually lost that trade because he pushed the wave. So I kind of got outplayed there. He has Kraken, but I have beads, so I should be fine. Um, there's nothing he can really do. He can take my XP camp and maybe the red buff, depending on... Depending on what he uh, wants to do, I guess. Whether he wants to shove the wave or take the red. Personally, I think the best option is take the red, like wait for that and then clear the wave because you know I backed. So you have time. Unfortunately, it looks like he wants to go for the wave first, which I do think is a big misplay. Big in the sense where you could potentially lose the red because of it. Unless you do that. Okay, he cracked the red buff. Unexpected. You will quite literally never win this fight. Not in a hundred million years. Bro, I'm taking a whole wave and you auto attacking me and still coming out on top. There's there's no way you ever win this fight. I missed all my auto attacks. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Turns out he has enough mana for an ability and taking 13 tower shots. Never mind. Seven tower shots. That's archer shots I saw. Is not great for your health. Who would have thought? Probably most of you. All right. I should stop trolling. I'm now behind officially. And the last thing I want to do is lose on a tryhard Thursday, especially as Kronos. Imagine that is not a good look. Move up down. I'm back to slightly ahead. Your blue buff is spawning. Honestly, the worst part about dying there was the fact that. Hold on. He's watching for me. He's so fast, man. He's so fast. I 
of life. Dark forces okay. propel me forward. Wait, I'm for 69. Nice. Oh man, my three would have killed. Still might actually. Nice. That was the last auto attack I was able to throw. The one that killed. Oh, that was close. If my auto didn't kill there, you would not have died because even if I landed another auto after that, because he altered the wave to clear it so I couldn't lose tower or so he couldn't lose tower, but mainly I think the alt on the wave was for the life steal from the Bancrofts, which would have let him live. I'm pretty sure my auto attack hit him a quarter of a millisecond after or like uh before his Kraken actually healed him, so that was again really close. I'm gonna go sprint. I really like sprint against Poseidon. And especially I like uh sprint against a Poseidon with horrific. I do have my Heke now, which is a little bit more lifesteal. Not too much actual damage yet. Because I don't have my Typhons, which is gonna spike me really hard, but until then, hopefully I can abuse my Hecate. He did just beads coming out, <laughs> coming out of Fountain. <laughs> oh, Demonic. Okay. So he has pen. He has a lot of damage. What he wants to do to me is he wants to hit me with three auto attacks to fully stack Demonic, and then he wants to crack in me. What I have to do is... Nope out of that situation with either beads, sprint, or alt. I do have options. I'm not instantly dead if he lands his three autos and crackens me, but if I handle the situation wrong, off with my head. I think I go Typhon's next item, probably. I hold the secrets oh. of Okay. A relic for a relic. A relic for a relic, a relic for a relic, but I'm still in a favorable position. Perfect. I fucked up my beads really hard there. That was actually horrible. I had muscle memory of my beads on the F button instead of the G button because of, you know, early game. And, uh... I pressed F to beads and then realized that I couldn't and that I beads while midair after the Kraken, which is never a fun time. All who resist shall fall. Luckily, I lived and killed him. He should have just ran, honestly, after his Kraken. Because even though he got the knockup and he gets all that extra damage of me and the three and everything like that, the fight still really wasn't that close, so... I think you should have ran. Also, I don't like Demonic. I like it as an item, but I don't like it in this situation because one, you have no power, really. The only power you have is Bancroft, which means, yeah, you're lowering my defense, but for what? You're going to hit me with Marshmallows after you lower my defense? Not going to do shit. <laughs> uh, and then again, Nimble's, Nimble's Talon or Bancroft's Talon, whatever, the, the auto attack Bancroft's. It scales off of power and you only have like 180 power, 190 power. It's really not doing anything. So his build just doesn't really work together. Whereas mine comes full circle. They all work. All my items work together really well. And it just kind of fits for uh, a better fight. Low, group up. All right. Let's talk about my next issue now, shall we? <clears throat> Bull demon. I was going to make a penis joke. 
but I decided it was it wasn't very good of me. <laughs> so I'll just I'll just go bold even. Oh, got your blue. Okay, cracking down. Cracking and horrific down. Yo, I do way too much damage. I do way too much damage. He said GG, man. All right, well, it was a good first game. He had me in the beginning, man. He almost, he almost outplayed the shit out of me uh, when he was level five and I was level four. And then I killed him in that fight and then I killed him one more time and then I got really cocky and died like a doofus. And uh, had to resituate myself. Plus zero. We love it. All right. I'll see you guys in the next game. Welcome back, boys, to game number two. I wanted to play Hades. Unfortunately, I cannot. So instead, um, what gods do I have a diamond border on? Hades, obviously. Kronos, obviously. Sukiyomi, obviously. I have another one, right? I have four. Maybe I only have three. Actually, I might be really close to a master's border on Hades. I looked at my win rate the other day, and it's like... I think it's somewhere like 35 and 1 or something. Which, that's pretty good, man. I don't know. I'm not, like... Don't get me wrong. I'm not good at smite. However, I can be good at certain aspects of smite. Such as... Um, Kronos, Hades, and Tsukiyomi. Which feels good when you are. I might knock back immune to my one. I am immune to knockups while channeling my one. Which means I go shell. If, if, I get knocked into a wall and die, I'm Hi, going to be mad. See you. Because... I should not be getting killed like that. <clears throat> Fighting jinxed jokers on her. He's a good player. And he has a flat border on honor, so clearly he knows what he's doing. So we got our work cut out for us this game. Just like last game too though, man. We got some some gamers online right now. Some big brain gamers. I feel like my damage is so bad. Okay, he definitely did not double buff. He only single buff. Hello. Now you're going to double buff. I guess I can't really stop you. That's fine. I'll just do my, uh, my XPZs. I think he's going for the the fast five with the wave clear, clearly. All right, I got my alt. Oh, he's over here. Why didn't he want mine? I feel like he should have gone for mine. And it was a bit of a misplay for him not to, because now I'm just straight up ahead. Because now I'm going to be able to get two XP camps as opposed to his one. Which is not good for him. For reasons I shouldn't have to tell you. Because two is a higher number than one. I told you anyways. He's backing after this wave regardless. Which is why he's letting it do so much damage to him. He's tanking so much. Obviously, I don't want him to back, so I'm going to greed. Because him not backing here is amazing for me because he is 1 HP. He's 1 HP. He has no ultimate. And now, I get red buff. The downside of me getting red buff is that <clears throat> he does finish his transcendence faster than I do. But if there's nothing else on the map to farm, he's not getting any extra stacks. So, I don't know. I had a downside in my head, and then I immediately took it away. I'm just straight up ahead. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm just ahead. <clears throat> now, let's see. Can I get all the stackies here? 
I can. All six stacks acquired. Grab my speed buff here. I don't know if I love waiting for his blue to spawn. I want to because I feel like it would be good of me to wait for it and invade. But at the same time, I might have to give something up in order to do that, which I don't think I'm comfortable with. I have a lead. Let's just abuse it. Make sure I'm getting my, my XP on cooldown and... I kind of want a soul eater. Soul eater is such a good item on Kalina. I'm going to ult this so I have pressure. I'll just take a peep. Okay. He already cleared it. Now, I, I do want to stop him from getting his XP camp if I can. <clears throat> Without my ult, I don't really know if I can, though. Oh my god. Okay. So my three clears. Ah, okay. I always see you. Yeah. Don't think I'm scared of him. He is backing right now. Do I have the option here to grab red before I back again? I don't know. This one's cutting it really close. He jumped over that wall and backed. I don't think I can get this, but I'm going to go for it. I can get it, but I might lose the wave. I'll definitely lose the wave. He's probably going to do some tower damage here. Or not. Right here. Is he going to bull demon? No, you're just proxying my wave. Okay. To the point. I don't mind that at all. Going for my speed buff, huh? I'm not going for my speed buff. Dude, I don't know what this guy's doing. It's like he's cool with letting me get a lead and holding on to it. He's not contesting the camps he needs to he's not you know w keying the shit out of me like he probably should be i feel like he's just kind of letting me farm and by the way yes hunters are dangerous at level 20 but Kleena is more dangerous in duel at level 20 when i have max cooldown when i have max cooldown with my breastplate and i start chunking away with Heartseeker and Titan's Bane, you will not survive. You won't. It's just how just just how Kleena works. If I get level 20, unless you're like Kronos or something and you can ult, you're just not gonna live. <clears throat> we ult this wave. Peace out, bozos. I want this XP camp. Oh. Okay. Well, that hit me, huh? Right Am I dead here? Okay. Use that stealth to your advantage, my boys. Nice. A little bit more stressful than I wanted it to be, but at the end of the day, we got the kill, and we're getting the red buff, and we're making our advantage even bigger. I'm pretty sure with this red buff and this uh, this wave here, well, wave in the next P camp, I'm going to back with a full breastplate, have max cooldown, and just start 
absolutely obliterating him. There's nothing he's going to be able to do here. I'm going from 20% cooldown with no defense to max cooldown with defense with a blink. I don't know, man. I don't know. If he wants to do something, he's going to have to prove that he can because right now I am not afraid. All right, Bold Demon down. Doesn't do anything for him because he doesn't want to fight, but... I guess it stops me from getting it. Not that I was going to. Not that I was going to. I don't know why that just felt wrong to say. Pretty sure it's right. I turned so fast my ult missed. Interesting. There it is. There it is. The consequences of your own actions coming to bite you in the booty. You did Bull Demon, but you went for the fight afterwards, and that is not going to work. Soul Leader is finished, so now I am not only tanky, but I'm also very life steely. Next up is either going to be Heartseeker, Hydras. Or Titan's Bane. Where are you jumping off to? My blue buff? It might be. Chasing the wave. That is unfortunate. I don't think that you can threaten me. What the? Again, I don't think that you can threaten me, sir. Unless you do something a bit different. You can't just step into your fountain, buy no items, and only get half of a heal and expect to win the fight afterwards. Yes, I'll admit that you did use your one and your horrific and live under your titan. It was impressive. <laughs> but I'm too far ahead. I'm way too far ahead. I don't know if he knows he can break my, uh, my ult. Nice. Dude, Kleena is so OP, man. I feel like they really need to nerf her. I don't know how to nerf her. But, like, the fact that I'm... I have 4k gold in hand and I'm still winning these fights. And they're not close. Like, I'm winning these fights diving Phoenix. And I have 4k gold in hand should tell you something. You do a lot of damage, my boy. Oh, God. Alright, well, I died, but Phoenix down and I have 4k gold, so... It's definitely fine. Uh, he has Aussie, which makes me want to go beat stick. I also kind of just want to do this. I mean, this is a lot of damage. I just gave myself how much power? 
I gave myself 90 physical power plus 10% more pen. No, plus 15% more pen. Plus the ability that is on the heart seeker that's going to do a ton of damage. Yeah, that was uh that was big for me. Take the red buff. He's going to have some defense. But. Mm, he's getting defense. But I'm getting 15% pen. So I think it's worth it for me. Going oboe is interesting actually. I guess it does help with his clear. Which is something he needs. Okay, while you go that way, I will blink in. I'm pretty sure you die here. Yep. Alright, GG Jinx Joker. That was actually a good game. That was a good game. There's a, a like two of his deaths were pretty questionable plays. Like when he came out of his fountain without buying any items just to try to contest me under Titan. That was a weird play. I felt like he knew he wasn't gonna win that fight. And he did it anyways. And the other weird play was I think the one at there was one at red buff that was weird. Oh, when he, yeah, when he tried to kill me at his back camp and just straight up didn't have the damage because he hadn't backed in a while, I think. I think those were the weird plays. But either way, other than those two plays, good game. And I will see you guys in the third one. Hey, what's up, boys? Game number three. And I wanted to play Hades. Go figure. It's banned again. Again. Do one of these games. I'm not ending this video until I get a Hades game. Uh oh, not happening. Not happening. Six hour long video? I don't care. Hades until the end. That's how I live my life. I'm sorry. Let's just actually no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. That's how I live my life. Deal with it. Sorry, that was aggressive. I just wanted to play Hades, man. <laughs> I just wanted to play 80s, and I I decided to play on her because the last guy played on her, and I was like, yeah. I'm not good at on her. I actually have like a like a barely over 50% win rate on this god in duel. I have I have a high win rate in general, but in duel it's only like 55 or 60% or something. So <clears throat> it's not great. It's not great. But, oh, why did you get bounced like that? That was weird. But I'm hoping that um, by abusing powerful Xy. Did you steal my blue? Yes. Ooh, okay. Did one buff and then pushed the wave. As many people do. I'm actually just going to tank this. I don't mind tanking this. He's going trans, though. Trans Hercules is kind of spooky, I'll admit. Do you think you win this? Yes, sir. I promise you do not. Well, I guess if you're level 5, maybe. We have beads. He doesn't have shell. I could bait my life here. Oh, I'm dead. Never mind. Oh, so close. Oh, if you were going to ult, why'd you hold it so long? If you were going to ult the wave anyways, why'd you why'd you hold it until you almost died? You could have just ulted when I ulted and then had a fair fight. I swear, they need to make Herc ult less satisfying. Because most people use Herc ult for the wave. I don't know. There's just something about Herc ult that makes it so fun to use on minions. This is 
I don't think he's close enough to two me, right? No. All right. This guy is playing Hercules really well, though. Like, it kind of seems like all he's doing is W keying me, but that's kind of the way that you have to play Hercules. You just W key. That's all you do. And it, at least for the early game, and it's actually the correct gameplay, believe it or not. That's like how you should play it. I'm going to ult this wave because I'm behind on XP. I'm not behind on it, but... I'm not ahead, which I don't like. And by alting that wave, it should give me enough time to do both buffs and an XP camp. Which should bring me pretty far ahead in XP, actually. Alright. I'm assuming he's doing his blue. Yeah. All right, cool. He did his blue. He's still level seven. He'll get eight off that wave, but I'm probably going to hit nine off my buff. So I think it's okay. I think we're in a good position here. Us both having transcendence is a bit weird. I normally like... Um, not going transcendence on Herc. In duel, I do it. But I actually really like Yotin's first item, Herc. It's really cheap, and it does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, you tried. You tried again. That was Thankfully, our attack is much that was advanced. such good gameplay. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it other than I'm impressed by my my own gameplay. I'm impressed by myself. I stopped his one based off reaction with my one two times in a row, and then jumped on him and then pillar stunned him while he was running away, and landed the auto after that. That was. That was really good. I, I don't play on her a lot. I used to, actually. I have like four stars on him or something. I used to play him a ton, but... That felt really fucking good. No wonder people play this god. Crazy. I just want to pick up my red, please. Thank you. Okay. That went about as expected. Be five minutes surrenders. All right. I'll see you guys in the next game where hopefully I'm Hades. Hello, boys. Welcome back to game number four. Obviously, he banned Hades. So, I'm not Hades. Instead, I'm going to be Bakasur. Probably a mirror match. It is pretty expected, honestly. Um, I'm not a great Bakasur either. <clears throat> I, I played a good on her game, but... This Bacchus are, uh, I don't, I don't know this player, but uh, just in general, he's probably a better Bacchus are than I am because I really don't play him. I really do not play him. I feel like Horrific will be really good early. Um, but then again, if he Horrifics, can I not just run away? Like, I just alt, and Horrific is cleansed, and then I'm fine. Right? I wonder if he's going to invade. It would be really weird to invade a Bakasura as a Bakasura, because I'm pretty sure whoever mashes the button harder gets the buff. <laughs> All 
Alright, I am gonna use my jump so the buff takes extra 10% damage so I can clear it just a bit faster. Alright, I cleared my buff a second before he did. I assume he's gonna come to wave because most people are. Oh, no, he's actually not. He's going to his, his speed buff. Interesting. He's clearing his speed buff. Or his wave, I mean. He went girdle first. That is not only disrespectful, but bad, I feel like. Like, does he just not think I can kill him? I guess it is a mirror match, so maybe he's right. So, how the hell is he five? Oh, well, because he got the wave. Never mind. That makes sense. I'm okay with this. Are you going to alt now? Hmm. What are you doing? Juke this damn minion wave, or I'm gonna die to him. Alright, I don't actually care about the red buff at all, I just wanna hurt him. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a stalemate for a while. How? Somebody explain to me how. How did that not hit? Hmm. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I feel like that auto after I jumped should have landed. I'm going Berserker Shield. That's a better item than I'm going. I'm going Breastplate. It's not horrible because cooldown is good, but... Obviously, attack speed is more important on Bakasura. I should have recognized that. And I should have gone Berserker Shield. Alright. Hello. I am tankier than him right now, though, so he can't actually fight me at the moment. I auto canceled it. He has alt, so he might alt me here. I'm not too scared of it. Not too scared of it at all. Reason why is because, like I said, I do more damage than him, and the fact that he doesn't have shell means that he never wins those engagements. If he wants to win those engagements, I have to be lower HP than him. I cannot be more, or even I can't. I can't be even or more HP than him. I have to be lower for him to win those engagements. I'm doing some tower damage. It makes absolutely no sense to me, but it doesn't really have to. I have alt up and he doesn't. He also doesn't have his berserker shield yet. He 
definitely got dumpied on by those boys. Greedy. You greedy, greedy man. You greedy, greedy man. How dare you just walk up to my wave at 2 HP expecting me not to be there. Um, I want an itch of all. I also really want that Berserker shield. Because <laughs> he has so much more attack speed than me now. I feel so stupid going Breastplate. In the end, it might actually be okay for me because, like I said, more cooldown means... Wait, is he trying to push power like this? Okay, so he's a Loki main? Really good for me. Jumping on him makes me win the fight because bro, a lot of people don't actually know this, but Bakasura's one makes you deal 10% more damage to whoever you land on. That means in switch situations like this where we're kind of even, landing on him is going to definitely turn the fight in my favor. Which of all is 1800, so I can't get it yet. This is really greedy on my part here. I could definitely die. He's giving me a bit too much respect by not hitting me. Which I'll take. He doesn't have a second relic yet. Um... I want Sprint, but I feel like Thorns might be better, and I also feel like Horrific might be better. The reason I want Sprint is because, obviously, I think Horrific is good in this matchup. I've said it so many times already. So, Sprint counteracts that. But... I don't know. His build is suboptimal. Obviously, my build is suboptimal too, but like, whatever he's building into right now is horrible. It needs to be, it needs to be an itch of all. There's really no other option. I've played this matchup like three, four times, and every single time they build itch of all and I don't, it sucks. <laughs> so I've kind of learned at this point, if you don't build itch of all, you are going to lose and it's going to suck. Oh, this is horrific I expected. You should run away. I really like the speed buff. Okay, well, he's just going to go for my tower. I'm down. I'm down to play this game. My guess is he really did not think I could take Phoenix there. He thought I was like calling a bluff or something. Nope. No siree. I knew I could take Phoenix and I knew that you really wanted my tower. I don't know why he's playing like this though. Like he potentially could have won the fight. He had Bull Demon on him. 
I don't know. He just gave me a phoenix for free. All because he wanted to walk past me when I was low HP. Now you have to deal with fire minions, which as a Baka, blows. <laughs> Backing. He's just backing. You got a 500 pot to defend here. Good play. I like making that play myself, actually. Gonna do like a couple thousand damage and leave. do this my attack speed is really low actually it's 2.27 after I get some stuff going he could be doing bull demon right now he is hello I don't know. I think uh, I want to say it's got to be his build, right? Like not having itch ball, like I said, not having itch ball really sucks. And secondly, he never picked up a speed buff once that game. I think most of the time, maybe he picked it up once, but most of the time he had blue buff on, which is just going to not be as good as speed. In the early game, I understand it because the cooldown is important. And he bought the 500 pot, which clearly means he wants to fight me, right? If he wants to fight me, why the blue buff? The speed buff is going to do so much more. <laughs> oh, I left the channel. I left the channel again. Oops. So much so that I switched to PC. Oh, Jesus. How long have you been on PC? I actually want to know this. Oh. Like Chris? Huh. I think buttery smooth. <laughs> Good. I think he played. I mean, I said it a lot that game that I think he was giving me too much respect. I think this is why he's, he's been wanting to play me for a while. So that's why he respected me a bit too much. The, the tower tower for, for Phoenix thing. What was that about? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know what was that about. Him going for my tower. I My only guess is he didn't think that I could take Phoenix. That's my only guess. I just wanted to say I got tower against Sam. Dude, you lost because of it. <laughs> I knew I was beat, so I tried to proxy. I actually think... You gave me way too much respect. You needed to challenge me more with objectives. You needed to challenge me more with objectives and give me a little bit less respect in terms of in a fight, you know? You played well, though. Weird tower damage IMO. Never hit tower Unless you can take it or there's no XP on the map. That's that's a rule I've pretty much learned over my time in playing. A lot of people 
will hit tower for no reason. Do like 300, 400 damage to tower, but it doesn't really do anything at all. Especially if he plans to do Bull Demon, which he did twice that game. Maybe three times even. I don't know. Um, it doesn't really do anything. So when he would walk up and hit my tower when there was like XP camps he could be getting, it was that was a misplay as well. Other than some minor things like the tower hitting and the big thing was obviously tower for Phoenix. But other than those things, he played really well. I want to get a Hades game. So I'm going to do one last attempt at a Hades game. I'm going to pass all my fucking bands and try to get a Hades. And I will see you there. <laughs> What's up, boys? Game number four. I am banning... No, it's game number five. It's game number whatever. I banned Uller. And on my last ban, I think that was three, I'm going to ban Scotty. Because I don't want Uller or Scotty in, but I do want Hades. Like I said, even if it's a mirror match, I don't care. I'll accept it. I just want to play Hades once. Just once. All right, so he has he has two more bans, which means I have one more ban. Which means I ban Scotty in this ban, and then he bans... Oh, he bans Scotty. All right, so I just pass. I pass everything. Ban who you must, as long as it is not a god that starts with H. And then ends in an S. You can ban Hercules, though. How many other H gods end with S? <laughs> uh, Hercules, Horus. When Bats makes the sound. Hmm. Please, 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 please don't ban it, dude. Don't ban it, dude. I just realized there's a there's a Bastet, Izanami, and Hoi, and Bologna open. That is. Pretty spooky content. That's pretty spooky gods. Actually. Oh, nice. He banned Poseidon. All right. Hades. I love this skin. I know a lot of people don't like it. I think a lot of people... Um, actually think this skin is one of the worst tier fives. I think it's my favorite skin in the game. Which I know is probably going to anger some people. But the evolution that he has from like... Baby little baby little guy who has a heart strapped onto his chest for no reason into like an actual nightmare demon which by the way he's got these freaking body parts like a sword going through here and like these bones everywhere his staff is like a bone staff with a heart in the middle it's so cool dude it's so cool and the coolest thing is his dance in his level 10 form, which I have to show you. He has a dance in his normal form, his normal little Hades, you know, thing. If I haven't showed you the dance yet, you're in for a good time. Please just pick a god. I have, I have stalled long enough. I've said everything I need to say. Lock in. If you dodge... I'm going to be upset. Don't dodge. Don't dodge me. Don't dodge me, poppy. Oh, Bologna. Okay. I don't like this matchup because I feel Bologna is very fast and has kins, which doesn't feel good most of the time, but I'll make it work. Hopefully. Dude, look at that card. He's so cool, man. He's so freaking cool, man. Alright. Let's let's hit him with the, the normie dance. I guess I can't yet. He paused. Dude, he took the entire 90 second duration to lock in your god, and now you're pausing. If you're messaging me, it's fine. If you're not, I'm upsetty spaghetti. And I'm like, I'm, I'm spaghetti. I'm like linguine. I'm like angel hair. I'm so many different types of pastas. Hurry up. <laughs> I just want to play, man. Why won't anyone let me play Hades today? The quest for Hades. That's what I'm going to title this, this, this trial Thursday. The quest for Hades. All right, hit the dance. That's his normie dance. 
Look at the crow. Look at the crow just jamming out on the staff. You see that? Look at that. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> He's jamming. Come on. You tell me you don't love that? What's my special? Oh, I just wave my my crow around with my staff. <laughs> the crow Bro, look at my look at my crow just dreams. jamming with. Me. You're telling me that's not the greatest thing in Smite? That's cap. That's cap. I'm sorry, but you're lying. And not only yourself, but everyone else. Why did that take an extra auto? Maybe I normally don't put a point in my two here. I don't know. I can't. I can't scoop by that way. You gonna steal my blue? No, you're chilling. All right. When these when when people do the uh, blue buff to wave start against Hades, it just doesn't work, which is great for me because now he's gonna be behind on a buff most likely. Thank you. Do not scare me. I want to hit him so they all group up for me. So I get amazing clear. Um, unlucky. Dude, I'm very far ahead already. I'm one extra buff ahead and two XP camps ahead. Whenever he goes and gets his speed buff, he'll catch up a bit, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. I'm already already kind of there. All right, Bancroft's acquired. Thank you. Oh, he's going Golden Blade first item. I just realized that. Golden Blade Bologna is actually underrated. I don't think it's a necessity. Like, you definitely don't need to build Golden Blade on her. Because your two is OP. But. It's very good. A lot of people build her trans and hydras and stuff. And just, like, go power. But. I don't know. The Golden Blade's not bad at all. In my opinion. Alright. Red buff down. Now I'm actually one full buff up. We'll get these. And I just want to ult him. Well, that was a lot of damage. I don't know why he didn't ult out there. He tried to one away, which was a fine play, but it's, it's, it's hard to get that one off. He's probably going to alt me here. Oh, it's not even up yet. Never mind. Now it's up. Is he back? I don't hear him doing the blue. I have no idea where he went. Whatever you do, please don't kill me. Hello. Thank you. His tower is half dead. I'm 800 gold ahead. Dude, Hades is so cool, man. I don't know. I just really like Hades and Kronos. I don't know why I stopped playing Tsukiyomi as much. But I gotta get back on my, my suck your homie train. Eventually. Eventually I'll get there. I think I might just go straight into... Uh, the next Typhons. Next lifesteal item. Normally I go breastplate here because the cooldown, but it doesn't pose a threat right now. So I'm chilling. I'm chilling with my numbies. I'm one level away from showing you the sickest dance of all time. Really thought that was going to do it. Did you get this XP camp? Maybe I should have gone breastplate just for the cooldown aspect of it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Look at that crow, dude. 
Look at that crow jamming. You're telling me that's not the sickest dance you've ever seen in your life? Look at him jam. You see you see him jamming, Bologna? Oh, dude, let's put... Let's, oh. <laughs> well. As. As. You see the crow jamming? Yo, yo. Peep the crow. Peep the crow. Peep the crow. Peep the crow. You see that thing? That's cool. He knows it. Even the Bologna knows. Sorry, I not speak English. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> maybe, maybe he doesn't know about the crow then. Latin, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do Latin? Okay. Okay. That's not Latin. What you typed is not Latin. Okay, hold on. I go to I go to Spanish. Google Translate. Copy. Omega copy. Omega pay. I can't I can't copy paste. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Okay. There. I have now said watch the crow dance in Spanish. Yo, he's watching. He's peeping. He's peeping. Look at that thing. God. <laughs> That's the kind of tryhard cut that you come here for, man. I'm an hour, I'm an hour and thirty minutes into this recording. It might not be the greatest content of all time, but it is mine. Okay, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> I can't believe it. That took way too long. Hmm. I'm on his blue buff. I'm back to serious mode, by the way. We're catching, we're catching some dubbies now. Where is he? I have no idea where he is. There he is. I kind of want, want to pick up that blue buff actually. All right, let's go back. I got this, and then I'll go into tier two breastplate, and then I'll also grab this, and then I'll also grab blink. Holy crap, that was a massive bag. Did I have 4,000 gold? Maybe I had 3,000, I don't know. But I got tier two breastplate, upgraded Typhons, and upgraded Bancroft's Claw in one bag. Where do you go? My next item actually should probably be a poly. Alright, he dashed in, which means he has to ult away. I can definitely kill here. Yo, he is speedy. We ran all the way back. Okay. We get his tower here. That's good. I wasn't able to get the kill because I don't do too much damage yet, but getting the tower is something I will have to live with at the moment. I'm just going to auto attack him down. I'm not really ever going to be able to kill him. And I think that the feeling is mutual. I doubt he'll be able to kill me ever. But, um. I can try. If you want. I feel like I should go poly next. 
I like uh, when I say poly next, I mean like disregard my my breastplate. Not sell it, obviously, but just not upgrade it. Because at the moment, both of our kill potentials are pretty much zero, which is kind of boring. At least with Polly, he can either kill me or I can kill him. Oh, I got it. Actually, was not expecting to get that buff. Ow. He autos me for as much as I auto him for. Which is not a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab my poly. Let's get some kill potential up in this bitch. It does have Onk and Toxic Blade, which is not bad because I am triple life steal. Although I will say I feel like maybe just getting a Sunder is better than an Onk. Because I, I am so tanky in my ult that like I get 110 protections. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> um So I feel like a sunder would help a lot more. Or maybe even just uh, like a blink. If you're already anti-healing someone 60% and it's still not enough, I doubt that you need to onk them. You probably just either go beat stick or accept that 60% is, is rough for, for this matchup, you know? I'm just going to be lame-o mode. Mm. But I got a back. He's going to kill my ass. Do you have Kins? Ooh. You have Xe. XE is actually not even close to as scary as Kins would be. And you're not getting that Toxic Blade on me, so I am completely safe. Oh. The up-down of death, man. The up-down of death. I feel like Bologna ult is one of those very tricky things. You know how I, earlier I was talking to how Hercules ult is so satisfying to hit the minion wave. Bologna ult is so satisfying to hit anything that even if you die, you really feel the need to up down just at, at all moments. Up downing just seems like the play you want to make. And it's more often than not the bad one. Hello. Gonna walk towards him. I wanna aggro the Titan to me. So I can get the wave and get some extra damage on Titan here. Oh, these aren't even fire minions, I just realized. Do the same thing again. That's good damage. Um, all right. Onk plus toxic play means I heal nothing. Oh, good, co dude. That was actually a really well played by him. That was very, very well played. I know it doesn't seem like it because I just ended up walking away and being alive, but that was really good. He used his Ankh perfectly with my ult to make sure I can just win here. What am I doing? Perfectly with my ult to to make sure that I don't actually get any healing with Toxic Blade plus Ankh. And then he um, 
He up down me again. I shelled it because obviously I have to. And then he hits me with the pre beads on my fear to keep his DPS going. I almost died, man. I almost died. Hey, babe. What does put putito eris uncrack mean? Yeah, it's P U tit O. Okay, I'll, I'll Google translate it. Don't worry. Um, hold on. Hold on, what's it? Don't worry. I'll crack this code. Now English me? Where is English? Uh, I don't know the alphabet. Help. There we go. Bitch, you're a crack. <laughs> I think he means bitch, you're a crack. Like in a good way. And puto, but I guess putito is also bitch. He called me a little bitch? When you add ito to stuff, it means you're small. He, little bitch, you're on crack. That's what he said. <laughs> what the fuck? That is so messed up, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, he said he needs to look at the video. Yes, you do. Thursday, 10 a.m. Be there or be square. He can't even read this. Why am I? What am I doing? Doesn't matter. Thank you guys for watching this Try Hard Thursday. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.